Hello, GB Networks here. Today, I will be bringing you a shorter video today, but it will be on how to SSH into a device slash client using PuTTY. So let's get into it. So the first thing I will say is that there are many, or I should say maybe not many, but a few different SSH uh, and Telnet clients out there, but I like to use PuTTY. It's just uh, what I'm most familiar with, and there's a lot of documentation around it. So with that being said, let's get into it. So all you do is you go to uh, putty download and then you just click that and you just go to this first one here. And so for putty, you go to this first one here also and right here it will take you to the actual page. And there are a lot of files. You can read it on your own. There are a ton of things, but for me, uh, if you have Windows 10, or any windows I should say, this is the one that you want to go to. You just click this first one here, you save the file, and then it should pop up, and then you just go here, you click OK, and it should pop up the wizard. And so I will take you through the wizard quick. It's really simple. Um, you just click OK, and then install, and it will install. So I will see you right after it installs. We are back now, it has officially downloaded, and so we just click finish, and now it should be on our computer. Now that we have exited the installer, it will not uh, turn up on your desktop, so you will have to drag it from the file, or you just go here to the start, and you will go to your recently added, and you just drag it over here, and it will create a link. So there it is. It's right on your desktop. So, so to access it now, you just double click on it. It will open up and here is your putty configuration. So this, there is a lot of bells and whistles here. Uh, I It will take a long time for me to go through everything. So this is just the basic. So this is how you will start your session. So um, what I'm going to do, for example, um, I will SSH into one of my Unify switches and um, and show you how to do that. So all you do is you type in your IP address. So I know my IP address of my switch. So it is 192.168.1.69. And then after that, you don't need to really do anything. Um, and you can click open. And this might be different um, if you're on like a Cisco switch, if you SSH into that or anything like that. But for Unify or Ubiquity, it should be the same. So you just click accept and I will click or I will put in UBNT here and then UBNT. And there you go. You have officially SSH into your device and you are all set to go. So just follow that simple step. And you can also go to new session and I'll, and I can do it one more time. So all you do is you type in uh, your IP address here. So 192.168.1.69 and you just go over here, click open and you have uh, um, successfully SSH. And you can also look up um, the different commands and things like that to get into your, or to reset your devices and things like that. So uh, let me know if you want me to go in more depth and I may go into more depth in a different video, um, but we will see about that. So as of right now, like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in, in another video.